Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to a special interview on behalf of the Gary Community School Corporation. My name is Chelsea Whittington, and it is always my pleasure to represent our school district Absolutely. with exciting yes. updates. Earlier today, we dropped an exciting nugget of news that the Gary Area Career Center has welcomed a new addition to our family, to the WGVE 88.7 FM family. He is no stranger to the airways. I'm so pleased to welcome Jeffrey Smith. Hey, Jeff. Hey, what's going on, Chelsea? It feels weird being on this side of the question. I know. I couldn't wait to get to this part of the, the program because for so many years, in so many different spaces. I have brought guests to you yeah. at um, your former employer, WLTH 1370 AM. Shout out to our friends at WLTH. And um, you were so, not were, you are so gifted, have the gift of gab, yeah. right? You're most able to- Most talkative in high school. Most talk, oh, yeah. me too, me yeah. too, me two too. Two years running. <laughs> oh, I didn't do two <laughs> years, wow. But you were able to engage your uh, interviewees, yeah. make them feel comfortable, yeah. but put them on the hot seat when they need it to be. And now we're excited in your new role as director of broadcasting yes. for WGBE, you get to share your talents with our students. Yes. Talk to me about that. What does that feel like? Well, I mean, when uh, the challenge presented, that's kind of, it was something I never really thought that I'd get the opportunity to do. Um, I'm excited because uh, to go out and get people in the new, uh, to get them interested in broadcasting, something that I didn't necessarily uh, know that was going to be my career path all those years ago, but I've come to love, and to you know be able to share with students and be able to work with them. That's a luxury I I haven't yet been able to to, to endure, but I'm um, I'm very excited about. It. I'm telling you, I'm excited about uh, what the students and what we can do at WGBE for the region, giving them another option as for its programming, and then have the students be part of a, a, a station that they're, they're gonna have a hand in yeah. participating in. That's yeah. the challenge for me, building something, uh, or coming onto a team that already exists and helping build it into uh, a very special place. Yes, we have, well, my angst, let me just tell you what my problem is. Every time somebody asks me, WGVE still on the air? I just sink in my seat. I'm like, yes, yes, we are alive and well right here at the Gary Area Career Center. And our station manager is Mr. Carl Rayford. He recently joined our team less than a year yeah. ago. And so he's been pulling his team together, getting on-air personalities. And now we're adding you to the mix because not only do we have radio, but we also have a TV component. Yes. Yes. So there's a lot of work to be done. Yeah. And we are getting the right people in the right place places to make sure that our students get all of that professional guidance. Absolutely. And that's what, uh, and, and like I said, that's going to be the real fun part of it because of course we're going to be having some community oriented uh, programming. We're going to be obviously broadcasting a lot of the great things coming out of the district, but I'm looking forward to, and I, you know, I'm going to be talking and working with, uh, with the manager, the station manager about this, because I want to get into student programming as well. Mm -hmm. We want to have, um, not only allow them to obviously go on the air, but, you know, listen, it, radio is changing right now from the way it is, the terrestrial radio. And you're seeing a lot of young people that want to become influencers, they want to get on social media, and so we have the opportunity, capacity. Uh, to go out here and get some of these students involved in podcasts yes. and things of that nature. And they're going to, hopefully we'll have some days and uh, possibly the Saturdays where they're just t totally running the station yes. uh, and putting out content. And another piece to that puzzle is that we are resurrecting the coverage of the games. Yes, yes So we are. the sports games, we'll have our students to do this. And so, you know, I got my first degree in broadcast, so you know I'm on 10 with this. Okay. I mean, anything that we can do to introduce these young people to the field that yeah. we love so much, I'm all in. So I'm planning to be like, you know, a guest speaker, teacher, whatever you, you all need me to be. Are. And I just love to have any kind of positive impact on the are. children. And so for those of you who don't know where to tune in, Jeff starts November 8th, that's Monday. that's Monday. You'll still have a morning show because you know, there's some folks out there that reached out to me who were kind of like baby mad, not like little mad, mm -hmm. like, wait a minute, am I going to still get my dose of the witty Jeff on air? And the answer is oh, yes. No. Tell me about that. Well, I don't know anybody who said that. Maybe that was the email <laughs> I sent you, but, uh, but no, there, there it is. And it's, it's going to be uh, seven to 10, uh, Monday through Friday, wake up GI. 
Uh, and it's going to be, a, a, once again, a community show, not necessarily in competition with, uh, you know, my other, the other station that I, I so love so much, mm -hmm. but also a different option because yeah. we in this community deserve choices and maybe people can come over and listen to both of them. Maybe yeah. people come over like this. It's going to be a lot, a lot more infusion, though, of younger people in it. I love it. We're going to still have community leaders. We're going to have uh, district news. We're going to always tell you stuff that's coming out of the district. Good news. Uh, oh, as my well. favorite. Yeah. Bad news will spread on its own. <laughs> but no, we're going to tell you the good news. Yes. And uh, we're going to bring and, and highlight people that you might not know that have been in the community that I've been wanting to talk to. Maybe I haven't had the opportunity, but they're going to come on. And you're just going to meet so many different people, like I said, from around the region, from around the state, from around the country. I've had people reach out since we've been kind of talking about this. So I'm excited because it just is going to be so expansive. And then there's going to be the opportunity for young people to come on this journey with me. And that's really the big deal. And, yes. you know, like I said, if, if they can just take a modicum of little thing, like, you know what, that Jeff is crazy, but I learned something. I learned him, something. And I'm from all right him. with that. Yes. And the thing I want people to understand is that the Gary Area Career Center exists yeah. to not only introduce our young people to career paths, but get them job ready. Right, right. So we have over 20 different disciplines yes. here from aviation, cosmetology, mm -hmm. graphic arts, construction, yeah. and uh, police and fire, all of these different things so that many of those programs, when they walk out the door, they can go get employed. Yeah. And we want to do the same thing in our radio TV piece. They'll learn how to record voiceovers, Absolutely. And PSAs, and a lot of that they're already doing yeah. with Carl Rayford. Yes. And so to me, this is just the add on and I am here for it all. 88.7 FM. So now a little known trivia, you know, in the press release, it didn't mention uh, your educational background. We talked about, you know, Hampton, the little HU yeah. and <laughs> Tuskegee, yeah. which are amazing institutions. Um, but you are an animal lover, so you were you got degrees in veterinary. Well, I science? went through. No, I went through veterinary school. I, I, I went and studied uh, Feline I didn't behavior, know that. yeah, feline, feline, fe feline behavior. behavior. That was my my discipline, and I ended up not get, actually getting into that. My uh -huh. father got sick. I came back home. Uh -huh. uh, I did work for some veterinary pharmaceuticals though at the time, and then yeah. I just started my love of uh, broadcasting. But I'm still a cat guy. I've been doing cat, you know, dealing with cats. Obviously, my own uh, for a while. I'm a herpetologist as far as reptiles. I've got you know bearded dragon snakes, uh, fish. Oh my uh, goodness, I got a, Go We got figure. a whole room. So I'm an animal <laughs> guy. I mean, ever since I was a kid, that's why I've always had a, uh, a space for animals in my life. Okay, so, well, yeah. that sounds like a whole extra segment that it we is. will love to it learn is. about on WGVE. And the other piece to the puzzle that I'm so excited about is the implementation of even more technology. Yes. Because we live in such a time where everything is so instant, you talked about the social media piece, the right. podcast, and so I just want to let those people know who are community stakeholders of the Gary Community School Corporation that the dollars are being invested in the um, renovation of the studio, both the radio and the TV space, yeah. so that we can put productions together and we are in partnership with Mark Spencer. No, I, I think, listen, one of the things, and I was, I was, you know, when this first presented itself, I wanted the challenge. But when I came over and I had the opportunity, I didn't, mind you, even when I was in high school, I came over to Career Center a couple of times. Uh -huh. So I never really knew what had happened or what it looked like. But uh -huh. uh, when I came over into the WGVE part and I saw the investment, uh, in the technology, it's state of the art. Mm -hmm. There are three studios that are operational. As I said, my my mind just went crazy because of the possibilities. Like yeah. I said, for the podcast, and then more importantly, I think this is going to be interesting and fun. Is there is a television studio in there uh, that the West Side Theater Guild has, and I don't want to give out the tab, but it is a significant amount of money that has been invested in this room that is going to. I mean, number one, it's a, it's a production room in itself. It has its own production room, but it has these lights, and it's a studio, and it's going to be remotely connected to the West Side Theater. Guild. Oh, my uh, goodness. Mark is working on that. And this is adjacent, by the way, to the studios that we have at WGV. And, and like I said, we've got three studios. It kind of goes into a fourth one in which this was killed me when I saw it. There's this one studio in there that not only has our regular consoles, we have an added space that we can have live bands and live groups perform mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. So when I saw the commitment of resources 
I wanted to be a part of it. And yeah. like I said there, I, I, I saw it firsthand. And so as you're talking to stakeholders, there is literally thousands of dollars in boxes just waiting to be unveiled and, and nobody's taking anything home. I've seen it with my eyes. It's, it's right there, state-of-the-art stuff that those students right down the hall right now are preparing to use yes. and the students after them. Yes. And it will make them ready when they get into the business. So parents, if you have a student, a scholar in your home who is interested in the career of broadcasting, radio, TV, even if it's behind the right. scenes, running the boards, yes. The Gary Area Career Center is the great, greatest place to be right now, and I'm so excited for them because they get to sit right under the tutelage or be in the tutelage of professionals in yeah. every discipline. We bring, we bring real life experience. We're going to tell them this is Absolutely. how it has to be. A 30 second PSA needs to be 30, 30 seconds. seconds. Exactly. 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 You know, we can't lollygag and have an extra second here right. and the audio has to be right, the lighting. Right. And they're going to learn all of this thanks to Carl Rayford, thanks to yourself, thanks to Mark Spencer. Thank you to and before our you go, director I, I want to give a shout out as you bring the Career Center up. I want to give a shout out to Shelly. Yes, uh, because, our director. Uh, yeah, because she's doing a great job and it's been uh, very good the way she's ingratiated me into the building. But I had the opportunity this past a uh, couple of weeks to walk through here. And as you talk about the programs, I went to the cosmetology place. Yes. And uh, I have not formally met the ladies in there, but to see, I mean, it is a hair boutique, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. And a barbershop. And, and a barbershop. And for minimum fees, this is how this place gives back to the community. I, Shelly was telling me, that they invite the public to come yeah, get their hair done. Yeah, they can come fade you up yeah, before because, your show. Because these students, <laughs> exactly, because these students need to get that experience in order to get their certification. So this is a give back place, uh, and I'm just happy to be a part of it, and we're going to do our best to make sure that uh, not only, we're gonna, we want WGV, obviously, to be very, very, but I'm so happy about the, the experience to yeah. work with the kids and, and yes. with you all. And there's one more thing. I'm going to go ahead and mention it. Okay, so you did graduate from the Gary Schools. What school did you graduate you from? You know what school I came from, <laughs> the Velt. <laughs> I put up with a lot of years of West Side stuff coming across my You're right. coming across my stage, the belt. Okay, all right, then the belt doesn't melt. melt. I know it doesn't. And that's another great thing that I like to bring out that we as graduates yeah. of the Gary Schools are here in the schools giving that's back crazy. to our young people. Yes. Yeah. You know, we have that fun rivalry thing, but it's really all it about is. them. On yesterday, Jeff side note. We posted um, the upcoming and yeah. current demolition of Luwala. I saw that, and I, I saw the tears. I saw the questions, the you know the comments, yeah. the negativity, the positivity. Yeah. We, we're going to get yeah. a mix of that, but ultimately, when we look at the real focus, it's about clearing a path for progress. Absolutely, for our young people. We had our time in high school. Yeah. We will always have our memories, memories. and now we want to create some good ones yes. for them. Yeah, I want them to say. I remember when I went to the Career Center and Mr. Smith helped me with my first audition tape. Right, right. And now I am an anchor in New York on an NBC affiliate. Any, anything is possible Absolutely. through these programs. And I just want to say how proud I am of you, how excited I am for right. you, how excited I am for our young people. And we'll be live streaming the station as well as listening. Mm -hmm. You can listen right now on 88.7. FM, that's WGVE. It is alive and well, an FM station owned by your Gary Community School Corporation. So, any final last yeah, words, Jeff? Yeah, and I want to add on to that. Uh, keep uh, definitely keep it tuned. We're going to be on the TuneIn app. Uh, look out for our social media pages. And as you said, we're going to be streaming. Um, you're going to start to hear your sports. Uh, live on the uh, home games, more importantly, we're going to be broadcasting them. And so it's just going to be a whole thing that we're all eager to look uh, look forward to doing. So well, I'm you very see excited. me, I'm rolling my sleeves exactly. up. You ready to work? I'm ready to work. All right, everybody, this is Jeffrey Smith, our new director of broadcasting for WGVE here at the Gary Area Career Center. I thank you so much for tuning in. And be sure to tune in Monday, 7 a.m. To 10. Wake up, up GI. GI. All right, Jeff, out.